Hey everybody, this is Dan for Gamby D on Cars. Now, I am back here at my new uh, home away from home. This is Porsche Mechanicsburg on the Carlisle Pike in Mechanicsburg, PA. And we're taking a look at, I need to take a deep breath, the Land Rover Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic Edition. That is a really ridiculously long name for someone that is essentially a Range Rover Velar SVR. This car has a five liter supercharged V8 making 550 horsepower and 500 foot-pounds of torque. This will go zero to 60 in about four seconds. Um, and this is genuinely, I, I really feel this is one of the best looking SUVs on the market. Um, I did a video a few months ago saying that the Audi Q8 is the best looking SUV on the market, but this is number two. This is the perfect size Range Rover. So we're gonna go all, over all the specs. We're gonna get it out on the road. So let's talk about the Velar SVR. Now, full disclosure, I came here today to review this. This is a Bentley Continental with the twin turbo W12 engine, but it's like a gloomy day here in Mechanicsburg, and I feel like I really need to like come when the sun is shining to get the top down to get the whole experience. By the way, he just told me that to replace the top on this Bentley is $40,000, which is just <laughs> insane. So back to the Velar SVR. Now this car, I think is like the Goldilocks of the Range Rover, you know, range we'll say because there's the Range Rover the Range Rover Sport which is bigger still a five-seat SUV but this one is a little bit smaller and it's sort of in the same vein of like the BMW X6 or like the Mercedes-Benz GLE Coupe it's just sort of a smaller sort of sexier version but this car has 550 horsepower now I reviewed a Jaguar F-Type with this same exact engine um, detuned a little bit that was a little bit uh, 495 horsepower compared to 550 but this thing, and wait till you see the interior. It's black on red leather with carbon fiber everywhere. It is absolutely stunning. Um, so I think, you know, this is a very expensive car too. This new, they started about $90,000 and this is a 2020 with 16,000 miles. And this car is $88,000. But as you heard the exhaust clip, it sounds amazing. I'm sure the performance is there and it just looks so good. So let's talk about the styling. Now I got a new rig here with a microphone, so I hope you can hear me. There's, they're washing some cars right over there. That's what the loud whooshing sound is. But yeah, this is the Velar S. Well, I'm gonna keep calling it the Velar SVR because that's essentially what it is. But Velar. Okay, I'm gonna say the, the full name again. Land Rover Range Rover Velar SV Autobiography Dynamic Edition, which is probably one of the dumber names I've ever heard of a car. It's just why, why overcomplicate it? It's a Range Rover Velar SVR. Now this car. You know, it's not as big as the other Range Rovers, like I said, you know, this is this would be more like a uh, Cayenne over there. Almost not even though, it might be a little bit bigger than a Macan, but this is the identical car to the Range or the Jaguar F-Pace SVR, but this car looks so much better. Now to start, we have these huge red uh, Land Rover brake calipers, big 21 inch wheels, there are 22s optional. Now, one cool thing, when you have the key in your hand and you unlock it, now before you go up, the, the door handles are flush there. If you hit the unlock button, they pop out and then that is where the door handles. So real quick, look at this interior. Black and red with carbon fiber inlays on the door. I mean, oh my goodness. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, I think this is the, the perfect looking and perfect size Range Rover. Um, you know, Range Rovers have sort of had the same similar styling over the years, but this is, I think by far, the best application. Now all their headlights and taillights get more like squintier. They just get smaller and smaller, but they sort of stick with the semi, you know, three lines there of the uh, taillights. And there's the exhaust pipes right there. Now I put the exhaust clip on earlier, but I will show it to you again right here. By the way, how good does this, this Bentley look? Hopefully I can come back uh, and do this uh, one soon. But yeah, this is the perfect size uh, Range Rover. 
I also really enjoy the grill in the front to go with these sort of squintier headlights. Now the, the LEDs are this little square and going up there. It just, the, the headlights are a lot squintier than before. They just sort of are smushed down and it just looks so good. I, I really believe this is the second best looking SUV on the market, which I said the Audi Q8 is number one. And number three might actually be that Porsche Cayenne right there. It's just such an attractive car. But yeah, as far as the styling goes, 10 out of 10 for sure. Perfect size, perfect lines. It's not too complicated. It's not too fussy. Um, you've got some sort of side gills right there and a couple little things on the hood, which I think is particular to the SV autobiography. Now the Range Rover, the big boy Range Rover SVR has the same engine as this, but more horsepower. That's 575, which would be absolutely you know, insane. That car, you know, sounds amazing, looks great, but I, I think I would honestly take this one over the Range Rover Sport uh, SVR. Yeah, it looks really good in the black with the dark finished wheels. All right, let's take a look at the motor. Now there is the five liter supercharged V8. Now in respect to Range Rover, they don't do any plastic covers or anything. They just have the engine front and center and that thing is a beauty. Now, Car and Driver sort of quoted this car going zero to 60 in about 4.3 three but i've seen some tests you know real real world tests that have this like 3.8 you know well under four seconds zero to 60 in a big you know suv like this it's like five thousand pounds but it is just so good looking uh supercharger is the way to go for these um that like i said the f type that i drove just was by far the best sounding car i've ever driven <laughs> Plus that was the uh, convertible rag top too. But yeah, shout out also do the hydraulic lifts right there. No, no, uh, you wouldn't want to pay $100,000 for a car and have the uh, little stick to prop up the hood. So yeah, there's the, the heart of the beast right there. This is a, an amazing engine, truly one of the best sounding engines I've ever driven. And I can't wait to get this thing on the road. So, all right, let's check out the uh, trunk space. All right, key's not working. So we're gonna, we're gonna manually open up this trunk huh that one doesn't want to work anyway so this is the trunk space of the Velar and this is pretty big um, I think you know I just sort of have my car to compare this to the Audi Q5 this is way bigger and the one thing about Range Rover is the big boy Range Rover they've never had a three row Range Rover it's always been a five seat car but just been a very very big car but yeah this is pretty this is pretty big you got look how beautifully these mats have been clean uh, this is just a thing of beauty back here. It's immaculately clean. Uh, the spec on this car is amazing. And that, that is a pretty pretty damn big trunk. I'm gonna say it compares to like a Porsche Cayenne. Um, I'll flash on the screen how those two compare. So not bad overall. So now let's continue the trend of attractiveness and check out the interior. All right, going to the inside of the Velar SVR. Now, just before we even get in the seat, look at this door panel. You've got the red leather with the sort of gloss carbon fiber trim right there. I mean, that just looks amazing. I, I still don't get sick of uh, carbon fiber trim in cars and I don't think I ever will. Yeah, Land Rovers and Range Rovers are known for that Meridian sound. But yeah, just look at the red leather on the black leather. Now, I, I don't think I've ever really reviewed a car that has the red on the steering wheel itself right here, but it just looks so good. Now let's close it up. This is weird. I'm used to it being like a million degrees out and, you know, sweating my butt off. But yeah, this is just a beautifully laid out interior. You've got the dual screens. Uh, we'll go over some stuff with them. But there's also these little screens on the steering wheel that change depending on what you have in the middle right there. But yeah, the red leather, I'm, I'm always a sucker for red leather. And the quilting on the seats just looks fantastic front and back. You've got a huge dual pane. Uh, sunroof up top, but let's let's listen to this thing and this button is sort of sideways on the front panel right there But just just listen to how good this sounds <laughs> I mean yes a hundred percent yes now the Even if you turn the car on and off the screen will retract and close when you um, Turn the car off So there are dual screens right here. There's the Land Rover logo now, one thing that's kind of funky about this car is it has a rotary gear selector right here that pops up and down when you turn the car on and off. But that's how you go over the gears. Let's just put it in reverse. There's the camera system, which is pretty decent. I almost wish that the, it was a little bit bigger on this screen. You know, this screen is huge compared to this one, but there it is right there. 
you can go over a couple different things you know camera technology is amazing in these cars and i really enjoy the graphics on these screens too like in this bottom screen where it has all your hvac controls there's an actual picture of a velar right there and there's actually two of them up here i mean this thing just has such a mean idle so when you go to menu it, did you just see how it changes you can go through a different couple different things uh, on the side now this is controlling the left side right there if you hit the diamond i think that makes it go back but there's your cruise control on the right side of the steering wheel uh it's just uh the technology is amazing now we do have a eight speed automatic with some nice metal paddle shifters little cutouts for the plus and minus but yeah this this uh everything is beautifully laid out you can actually change the angle of the screen up here now like many other cars this has the three tiles that you can go through a bunch of different stuff it's a touch screen valet mode android auto cameras eco data apple carplay voice yeah there's lots of cool stuff and the screen the screen seems pretty you know uh works pretty well ambient lighting dynamic i think you can go over available and dynamic program to, you know to set you know different type of uh preferences right there yeah there's your navigation system right there looks looks pretty simple but i think it works okay there's your music cameras parking they say you can even sort of go off-roading with this car because it does have decent ground clearance and we know the defender the cousin to this car you know has all the off-road capabilities but i like how the screens feel very crisp and clean you have your navigation on the right right there and you have your music okay so to go over a couple things on this screen this is where you control the temperature but if you click the screen it goes into your heated seat option right there there's one two three and then you can go to cooled seats so this has dual purpose and if you click it one more time that goes back to your here, I don't want, I don't want the cooled seats on. It's, it's a normal day out. But yeah, these, everything just feels quality. I mean, just these, the feel of these metal knobs as you go over. But yeah, there's the exhaust button. We're definitely gonna try that out when we get out into the road. And there's a helmet. If you click on that, you can go, uh, that takes you to your dynamic setup where you can, you know, adjust with the suspension, steering dynamics, suspension, gear shifts, engine. Uh, we will try that out when we get on the road. But you've got climate, you have heated seats, and I think the climate, the, the graphics look pretty cool. If I wanted just on the bottom there. Yeah, it's just a very nice looking screen. Very easy to use. You can sync, turn everything off. Um, there's your volume button. I like that they have a hard volume button right there, and I think the Meridian sound would sound pretty good. But yeah, everything feels quality. The leather is obviously very good quality, but I mean, it's gonna have to be if you're spending you know, close to $100,000 on a car that has a supercharged V8 and all the performance that goes along with it. So a couple other things down here. You have a square box, I guess, for storage and one cup holder, but if you press this Land Rover button, there is your other cup holder, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they didn't just put two cup holders there and the square storage right there. Yep. Here's the glove box. Nothing crazy to report that right there. But yeah, just look at that carbon fiber trim right there. It just looks so good. So as far as everything in the front seat here and the front infotainment screens, I think the quality is excellent. These seats are super, super comfortable that I'm sitting in. And obviously the trim with the carbon fiber to go along with the red just looks fantastic. You got Alcantara on the headliner right there. Yeah, it just looks very good. So let's check out the back seat. All right, going in the back seat of the Velar. Now, this is where I think they might be the... No, I'm not going to say it's a negative, but the space is not the greatest. You know, compared to the big boy Range Rover, you'd have plenty of space back here. But if you see this button right here, you can recline the back seats back and forward, even though this is a very, very cheap-looking button. You know, I feel like it's left over from the forward parts bin. But you still have the same quality back here. The same stitching in the seats just looks fantastic. You do have your controls, same as the controls up front to go over your HVAC controls and your heated seats back here. So you can definitely see the beautiful layout of the front right there. Yeah, this is this is a very well appointed car. This this spec is pretty amazing with the black exterior and the red and black on the inside. I think this car would be a little bit smaller than a Cayenne or something similar. Uh, an F-Pace SVR I think would be similar. But if you have a car like this, you obviously want a performance SUV, SUV first and foremost. And you can still fit your two kids back here and a decent space in the back. So I don't think this is a, an ultimately a negative to this SUV. I mean, just I, I can't stop looking at the carbon fiber. It just looks so good. So I'm not going to say that's a knock on this car. Just, a, you know, my feet 
my knees are hitting the seat in front of me, which is okay. I mean, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of headroom back here and this beautiful, you know, sunroof, panoramic sunroof above my head. So I think uh, this is a nice place to be in here. The quality and materials are first rate to go along with the supercharged V8. So this is definitely uh, an amazing car. Now it's starting to sprinkle a little bit here in Mechanicsburg, but that's okay. But so this has been my walk around of a 2020. I'm gonna do a deep breath in again. Land Rover, Range Rover, Velar, SV Autobiography, Dynamic Edition. Essentially the Range Rover, Velar, SVR. Now, what do you get when you spend, uh, this car is on sale for $88,000. So what do you get when you spend $88,000? You get an amazing exhaust note, beautifully styled inside and out with the carbon fiber and the red and black interior. Um, and I think this is the best looking Range Rover of all time. Absolutely. I mean, it's just the perfect size, the perfect propor proportions. Uh, the wheels look amazing and all the appointments, uh, this, the grill styling, everything about this car just screams quality. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Velar SVR. And now we're going to get this thing on the road to hear that supercharged V8 scream. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to check out Porsche Mechanicsburg on the Carlisle Pike in Mechanicsburg. They've been very gracious to me. Anything I wanted to drive, they've been okay with. So go come to this dealer and buy this car. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.